All right, so here's the results uh, of the thrust test for the uh, RCX SC2205-2300. Um, uh, once again, uh, another motor that uh, performs pretty well, uh, pretty much about the same as all the other uh, 2205s that have been coming out uh, from other factories. Uh, this one this one performs pretty well, it's got all the uh, it's been updated with a lot of the uh, features of the more premium motors although this is a uh, this is a con uh, could be considered a budget motor but uh, it uh, it's quite uh, it's quite powerful um, here's an interesting comparison that I'll do uh, with uh, since I had the chance to test both uh, 2600 and 2300 KV motors from the same uh, manufacturer uh, uh, from the same series so it's pretty interesting to see how how uh, the, the KV uh, affects uh, performance so as we can see on the uh, on the 2600 KV uh, when we start with the 4040 uh, by 3 prop uh, that's like a good match for a 2600 kV motor it's a, a 4 inch prop uh, the motor will have no no issues uh, spinning it and it's gonna it's not gonna draw a lot of a lot of amps and you'll get lots of power so that's a, a 1 kilo you know 1 kilogram of uh, thrust uh, at uh, about 28 amps uh, in contrast uh, the 2300 is putting out uh, uh, close to 900 so uh, it's pretty respectable not not that much difference uh, there's only about 100 grams difference and the uh, uh, the current draw is uh, it's pretty manageable uh, as we go to the bigger props uh, the 2600 uh, kV motor will uh, will of course uh, have more top end but at the cost of uh, of uh, uh, amps you know it, it's gonna require a lot more uh, current so you can see the the 2300 is uh, still making good power and keeping the amps low uh, move on to the the popular uh, 5040 by 3 prop uh, the difference as you go up in uh, in prop size and pitch uh, the difference starts to get smaller uh, a little bit uh, because uh, simply because the the lower KB motor will have more more torque so with more torque it can spin the props uh, larger props uh, better whereas the uh, the higher KV uh, will struggle a little bit more at the top end with the with the high pitch props so we can see that here uh, the gap here between the 5040 by 3 it's about uh, it's about 140 grams or so as we move on to the larger prop uh, like, uh, the C5045 by 3 uh, the gaps getting smaller it's about 80 about 90 90 grams difference uh, then we go to the uh, this hybrid uh, T5045 V2 uh, then we're only looking at about 70 grams difference on the quad prop uh, this one was kind of odd I guess because the pitch the, the lower pitch it's only a uh, four inch pitch uh, we can see that the, the high kV motors actually kind of like those props more uh, so you can see here the the gap is a little bit larger than with the four and a half inch uh, pitch props so that was kind of interesting uh, of course the uh, 2300 kV it, uh, motor will drive 16 six inch props much better so if you if you you know you're interested in driving 16 
six inch props uh, the 2300 kV will probably be a, a better a better choice and uh, this one was pretty pretty impressive uh, uh, close to 1.6 uh, kilograms close to 1600 grams uh, uh, of thrust on the six inch prop so uh, looks like uh, my RC Mart has done a pretty good job on uh, uh, building these motors uh, they're pretty uh, they've been finessing the motors uh, for a while now so uh, so the only thing left is to see how durable they are uh, how good the bearings are uh, they, they said they were uh, they were supposed to be getting different uh, bearings that uh, are much better than what they were using so uh, so we'll see we'll see in the user reports uh, see how the motors perform over time uh, so then uh, thanks for watching uh, that was the review for this motor uh, uh, and uh, check back soon, I'll be uploading more videos soon.